Santa Rosa City Council amends code to increase punishment for violent animals. Santa Rosa City Council members voted unanimously Tuesday to impose greater punishments for violent domestic animals after a group of local residents pushed for change. Under the city's existing code, an animal could only be declared vicious, allowing for the possibility of being euthanized if it severely injured or killed a human. Following Tuesday's vote, the code will now be updated to include similar punishment for animals that kill or severely injure other domestic animals. Punishment will be based on recommendations made by the city attorney's office. This will give my office more discretion to seek the vicious designation Santa Rosa, Assistant City Attorney Adam Abel said. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Previously, punishment for animals that harmed other pets was limited to having them confined to their homes with restrictions, such as requiring owners to post potentially dangerous animal warning signs in their front yards. When they went for a walk, dogs had to wear a muzzle and orange collars that designated them as potentially dangerous. But resident Matthew Malik and his husband, Jay Mullineau, wanted more to be done. In February, two cats were attacked by a pair of dogs a pit bull and a shepherd mix that had rampaged through the Grace Track neighborhood of Santa Rosa. Malik and Mullineau's cat, Dale, was killed along with Belle, belonging to Alan Butler and his family. The residents asked council member Victoria Fleming, who represents the Grace Track neighborhood for help. An animal lover, she prepared and introduced the proposed ordinance change at the council's Tuesday night meeting. Malik, with other neighbors in attendance Tuesday, urged the council to approve the amendment. This happens all the time in Santa Rosa. These are the words etched in my mind when I think of the killing of our family member Dale, our cat, in his own backyard earlier. This year Malik said to the council members, our neighbor's cat, Bell, was also slaughtered that same evening while in its own backyard. I'm here today to state to you council members that these killings do not have to happen all the time in Santa Rosa. You have the power to bring constructive change to our animal code by voting yes for the proposed amendment. A trial had originally been slated for last week, with Abel prepared to seek a vicious designation to have the pit bull and shepherd mix euthanized. Instead, the owners reached an agreement with the city. During an October 19 hearing on the matter in Sonoma County Superior Court, Ross Katz, the dog's owner, said in a statement, the canines were much loved by the adults and children in the family with whom they were playful and affectionate. Per the agreement, the dogs would not be euthanized but sent to a sanctuary in Humboldt County. The updated ordinance will certainly have a positive impact, Abel said, though he indicated it was hard to determine how many cases it could potentially affect. In the case of the cats' as dogs, however, they would have been seized and impounded, Abel said, and never returned to the owner. The dogs escaped in April and frightened the neighborhood a second time after they were given back to their owners by Sonoma County Animal Control. Though they didn't hurt anyone that time, the potential was there, he said. So many of his cases are repeat offender dogs, Abel said, and the ordinance change could eliminate some of those. We are relieved that Bell and Dale's deaths did not go unnoticed in the city, and some real substantial good came out of it, Malik said after the city council's vote. We really feel the city will be much safer and it will really help get bat animals off the street. It will help the city and the county in changing their procedures with regard to these vicious dogs. Malik said he also has several ideas to present to Sonoma County Supervisor James Gore about how the county should deal with aggressive animals in the future. People shouldn't have to go through what we went through, Malik said.